Hello everyone! Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, starting slightly earlier today, just because I had the day off, because uh, it's a holiday up here. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, I just sort of figured that I'd uh, get an extra hour in today, basically. Uh, maybe. Anyway, we'll, we'll see how long it goes. <coughs> it may be uh, a four-hour stream, it may be a five-hour stream, but um, we'll uh, just see how it goes, really. Um, so... Um, yeah, welcome aboard. How's everyone's doing? Hope everyone is well. Um, so, um, <clears throat> the plan for today's sesh uh, is to um, I mean, head over to the Ancient Armory and see if we can get that, uh, that one sorted out because we now have two power cells. Um, and uh then do cauldron row uh which was the first cauldron that we found uh well the second technically um but we found one and did it um that was cauldron sigma uh found another one which was cauldron row that had the big sort of gap at the, at the front of it that we had to figure out a way in and um I think the other one was Cauldron Zeta that had all the stalkers in front of it. Um, so we'll do that one we'll leave for later on, I think. Um, so uh, Ancient Armory, Cauldron Row, uh, and then head to Pitch Cliff and we'll, we'll carry on with that main quest line thing. Um, and... Um, I guess we'll see how far that takes us. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that the cauldron is going to take us the first couple of hours, uh, but we'll see how far it goes. But uh, we may head off to the Grave Horde and find out what's going on there and see uh, what the secret of Zero Dawn was. Um, uh, and also a possibility is the Frozen Wilds because uh, I did a little bit of digging into that and... Um, Apparently, you can do it at the end, but it's sort of, um, I'm not sure if it's designed as such, but it's, it works if you, uh, do it sort of alongside the main quests and stuff, you know, like during the game. Uh, although apparently it's pretty hard, so, um, we may just sort of pop in there and just see what that's all about, that's in the Banuk territory. Um... Uh, might do some side quests as well because I've got a bunch of those that are just piling up. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Really, I'll make the most of the longer session. Um, Wednesday uh, will be just back to normal, like start at eight o'clock and so on. Um, but uh, like I said, it's just because I had a day off today, so I uh, didn't really have. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, there wasn't really a, a big rush to get things ready for 8 o'clock. Had some free time, so I thought I might as well use it. Um, so, I uh, did a little bit more levelling up and things. Um, one of the things I did find was a bear moth, uh, which... Uh, um, I never know how, how you pronounce that. Is it behemoth or behemoth or something completely different? I don't know. Um, bloody big thing, anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, they're like um, they're not elephant. They're not sort of elephanty. They're they're not you know elephant shaped. Um, they're kind of like the same sort of size, I would say, as elephants, but they're like. Um, uh, they look more bear-like or something, I suppose, sort of giant, uh, like a megatherium, you know, ground sloth type thing. Um, but anyway, they're really big, four-legged, ploddy things, they, they run in convoys, which, um, uh, let's see if we can find where that was, uh, there was a symbol of them, um, yeah, these guys, basically. Um, but yeah, they're huge. Uh, they they have a vicious trample thing. 
Um, they lob rocks at you, uh, and they take forever to go down. Um, but I managed to take one down, um, which was quite quite nice. Uh, and um, yeah, that was that was pretty epic. Needed a lot of traps and a lot of arrow, you know, tear blast arrows and stuff. What was that? Weird electronic noise. Um, yeah, so that was uh, that was kind of entertaining. Um, so I've uh, revealed a bit more stuff. Um, so uh, if we want to hit the cauldron, let's uh, let's head over there. Um, I mean, I could just sort of run to it, I suppose. Uh, where am I? I'm over there. Uh, Boobadoo. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, let's just run up there. Yeah. Uh, where are you? Um, yeah, let's, let's just run along and we can find some fun things to do along the way. Uh, oh, one thing I need to do is sort out my skills. Oh, actually, we're going to no, we're gonna do the armory first. I think that was the plan. Uh, let's do that first then. Um, so, I guess I can take strong strike, low profile, um, heavy lifter could be fun. I'd be finding a bit more of those. Um, Ammo crafter, ooh. Um, let's do ammo crafter, shall we? Uh, oh yeah, my modifications are getting a bit ridiculous here. Um, getting some big, big uh, things that I'm gonna sort out at some point. Like, I just have no room for green things anymore. Um, it's quite ridiculous. Um, I am a bit short of stuff though. Um, can't do that. Can't do that. Um, still haven't really figured out what those harvest arrows are useful for. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go for plan A here. Where was that? Um, where was that ancient armory thing? Uh, so what the hell is that? Huh. Um, it wasn't those ruins. It was somewhere up here, wasn't it? No, Daughter's Vengeance. Um, uh, 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 let's just show you on the map. Um, okay, that doesn't help particularly um, okay let's do that then and there you are <laughs> right um, bunker I think that was it wasn't it uh, and there's a merchant there as well all right let's go over there we'll get that done first because if we get the armor then um, that will help us in the uh, cauldron, undoubtedly. Hopefully it's actually good armor. Um, like at my level now. I think I've actually fired a rattler off. <laughs> I think it's only really useful in humans. I don't tend to encounter them too much, but uh, I have found a few places where they are around. Like bad peoples are around. So uh, we can have a look at trying that. Um, I do need to stock up on healing stuff. So, might as well 
grab that while I'm here. I'll tuck that away. Uh, oh wow, it's just healing central here. Aha, Mr. Merchant. Uh, sorry, let me just grab this thing over here and then I will talk to you. Tell me, but uh, uh, let's have a look. Shadow sling. Uh, I don't have that. I've got the blast one, don't I? Um, uh, yeah, what have I got to sell? Sawtooth hearts. Good amount of money. Um, fish skin. Uh, oh, uh, before we do that, um, ah, blah, mm, brain. Um, before we do that, let's see what we can craft ourselves here. Bow quiver, which we're not that interested in. Rattler ammo pouch, which we're not terribly interested in. Um, but sure. Um, you're done. So all these ones with a tick are done. Uh, now, what do we need? don't we? Whatever that is. Um, echo shells, I think those are, aren't they? Wire and echo shells. And blaze. So. Um, definitely wire. Didn't I have... I thought I had 1,500 shards there. What the hell? I lost a bunch? Um, that's weird. Maybe I just misread that. Um, Alright, let's see about um, crafting some ammo then. Um... So, uh, what is that? No, I can't get, can't do those. Uh, can do that. Can do that. Um, yeah, I thought I had a lot more stuff. Uh, all right. Anyway, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. for really uh, I have a lot of stalker lenses that is nuts considering how tough they are um, that's another processed metal block shell. Uh, oh, I can get rid of a whole bunch of these. Um, bleh, get rid of all that. Uh, wow, I uh, got a lot of shell water. See, now I've got a lot of uh, um, shards. Oop. Ooh, very nice. Tons of these. Uh, Way too many of 
those as usual because it's compulsively collect roots apparently. Um, now I suddenly have a lot of money. Loads of sparkers, good job. Probably get rid of about 100 of those, I think. I think that's probably a safe bet. Okay. Now I have some stuff. Uh, of course, I mean, I've got that already. Um, buy a bunch more wire. Always good. Don't think I need anything else. Um, ancient vessels. I mean, I could get these things as well. I'm not sure about the Banuk figures, but might as well get those and have them show up on the map um, right and now haha now we can see all the flowers and things um, I tried getting into all this area down here and I just couldn't I don't know if that's inaccessible or what but maybe uh, maybe we can get back in there somehow um, but, uh, apparently there's an ancient vessel right up there, and a flower over there. Um, but, we are here for Bunker. So let's go to Bunker. Now that we have tanked up a bit. Um, how do we get to said Bunker? Uh, can I go up here? There was a hole in the ground somewhere, wasn't it? Uh, let's see what we can see. Ah, yeah, there it is. Right, let's see if we can crack this uh, code in here. Sure, if there's anything uh, bad waiting for us. Hup. Hup. There we go. Right. Back in here again. Sweet. Um, like, do I need to repair all of these fuses? Uh, let's do this, this one. Yep. That's true. Boop. It's some kind of code. Uh. Maybe there's a clue nearby. Okay, and the clue is probably this. 1200, 1500, 1800, 2100, 0, Well, given that we have to turn these, I'm gonna guess that's some kind of clock. Um, so that's like 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, uh, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock in some order so um, 12 3 is just clockwise really isn't it literally um, so that's vertical we turn that clockwise 
supplies. There's some more information nearby. Something that will tell me how this works. Looks like each dial has four positions. Maybe if I get each yeah. dial in the right position. I mean, not that you'd know what the clock was. <laughs> Did it. Now to check the door. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. Well, something I'm not gonna look very uh, fantasy like, am I? <laughs> Ultra Weave Trials. We've not tightened properly on local impact tests. Set sensor optimization successful, but torso protection still lagging. This is what? 65? So it was 2064 when things went down, wasn't it? Um, Getting error on the weave density and detection component, but integration error on the left knee tank the impact test. <laughs> Subject isn't going to be able to walk that one off surgery required. Uh, are you telling me that, that somebody could shoot my legs off? Is that it? Um, okay. Uh, okay, let's have a look around. Uh, oh yeah, I figured out as well. Um, I think that the year, the current year is something like thirty twenty nine or something, um, somewhere around there. Because um, uh, remember, it was like nine hundred and something years since, uh, um, I guess, since things went down based on that appointment scheduling thing from uh, the tower last episode, uh, Maker's End. So, um, yeah, we're quite far off in the future there. Oh, good. Echo shells. That's what I wanted. Um, that means I can craft a few of these. Okay, excellent. Uh, da, da, da. Get a few of them. We're pretty much up to scratch. Uh, Oh, there's more. Just need to install these power cells. Oh no! <laughs> more power cells? No! <laughs> ah, bugger. Um, hmm. These numbers, they must be related to segments of a circle. Uh, ooh. 1970. Well, yeah. 360, 450 is another 90. And then another two more off that. Okay. I need more power cells. Ah! Curses. Um, haven't seen any of those. Okay, well, maybe we're not getting the armor then. Um, We progress. Aha. Maybe there's some better progress here. Um, right. General, you wanted fast, cheap, and good, and that's what we're going to deliver. By using a flexible nanofiber weave instead of plating and enhancing protection with a 400 electrovolt hard light micro projector, we've reduced our testing cycle from weeks to days, and I'm confident we can get the suit out by next month with enough production to cover dozens of elite units at least. Better yet, it'll be half the weight, half the cost, and offer twice the mobility. All we need is the balance of our funding, a few more techs, and another experienced test subject. I know resources are a stretch to the breaking point, but any more delays will jeopardize the schedule, so please advise ASAP. May God be with you and Jane in these dark times. Semper Fi, Major Garrow. I wonder if they ever got the funding. <laughs> um, right, I gotta find more power cells. Err, uh, hmm. I know that some uh, some critters do have power cells. 
Um, oh, that's probably what we were looking at over there, isn't it? Uh, some some uh, machines do have them. I wonder if I can shoot them off somehow. I've not seen them in the uh, uh, you know the what we call them, you know, debris that gets blown off. It's just been like metal shards and things, but. I believe, though, that there is a Warbo quest for that. Um, let's have a look a second here. Uh, ba -ba. What are we? Tutorials, right? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, ba -ba. Warbo. Shoot power cells using shock arrows. Which I've never managed to do. But I wonder if that can blow them off. Hmm. Um. Right. Uh, how do I get up again? Yeah, over there. Gotta look for the, uh, Slightly discolored top. All right, all right. Well, scratch that idea. Um, might as well while I'm here, though. Um, see if I can locate you. You're over there somewhere. Hmm. Quick way down. Here we go. Oh, music suddenly stopped. I'll find a use for you. Hopefully it'll come back. <laughs> Stock up on medicine. the rain. See a metal flower anywhere. Are you sure? Should show up on here, shouldn't it? There's a dead watcher that I completely missed. Saving these for the trail. Right. Um, looking right at it, apparently. Like, really? Ah, you're over there. Ah, there you are. Very inconspicuous. Hello? These are something special. Which one's this one? Lightning flash. What I thought were faces are plumes of pampas grass. <laughs> Very odd 
things to have written in the code there. But sure. Uh, now does... Does that have a... Um, Doesn't have a. Doesn't have a quest uh, thing for it, is it? I don't think it does. Anyway, grave hordes over there. Uh, that's no. Hmm. Most mysterious. Um. All right. Uh. Well. Let's. Head over there then. Hmm. It does remind me, I've now I've got all the trophies for the uh, hunting lodge in Meridians. The next time I go back there, I can uh, try and sort that out. And maybe that'll impress them. Or maybe they'll just say, oh, you must have cheated. You can't do that, you're a girl. At which point, Aloy punches them in the face. It's just a bunch of watchers, they're fine. A whole bunch of people got married. This is more fun. Go back there and, you know, murder your friends. <laughs> oh, he's so enthusiastic, bless him. And chaos ensues. Turn on us like that. Well, <laughs> and then Harry goes crazy. <laughs> he just lost his mind. Fight 
to the death here. Oh. That's for killing Harry. <laughs> Um, right. Oh, I believe that's all dealt with. That was entertaining. Okay. Work uplink. So the way in here is down. By the looks of it, Which that's what we established last time. So. Uh, See what's going on. Though this dust is really, really quite something. So how do we get down? Take the other uh, little handholds, sure. Uh, it's quite a long way down. There's some kind of liquid flowing through that pipe. That we just found the sewage vents. Ah, uh, time to rebel. Whee! Oh my god, that's a long way down. There. Entirely sure what happened there. <laughs> the perspective went all weird. Um, okay. There's definitely stuff down here. Best way to go down. <laughs> Are we actually on the ground floor now? Looks like I'm not the first to look for a way in. What a waste. No. Yeah. I'm kind of suspecting that you may have just fallen down, perhaps. <laughs> Okay. What secrets lurk in here? Also, what critters could I override as a result of doing this one? So, how far down does this go? <laughs> there we go. They were curious too. But I'm better prepared. I hope it's enough. Well, you've got a bit further. Also, I can get in. The heat vents. Oh, I gotta watch her. It's probably wondering why that just uh, opened up. Turbine. Oh. Come here, buddy. Uh, you're just basically pacing around there, are you? Uh, I'm 
guessing I can use that to get from A to B. Uh, huh. Looks like there's a ground there anyway, but doesn't look like there's anything actually there. That rushing sound again. weird that like whenever I go looking for things there's this like bongo drumming noise <laughs> bit of an odd sound effect for that but uh, how about through here I wonder what the big bad in this one's going to be. so I don't have to um, waste expensive arrows. Uh, could I not hit you? Oh. Need to find a way through that shell. Is that just not? The idea was that the uh, vest, the event would mask me, but uh, for some reason I couldn't blow it up, unless it was already venting perhaps. That might be why. Um, where's a uh, big boy? Oh, you were a ravager, were you? Uh, well, that's not fun.
be a bit. are tough little buggers. Come on. Ravages are a pain. They are nasty little buggers. They got ya. So we have a Ravager cannon somewhere. Yeah. Now these are quite nice. But first. See what we got here. We got turbines. Turbines are go go here. Many turbines. I'm not sure what the point of that little cubby hole is. Uh, a force field, apparently. Presume they have to take you down by doing fun things with turbines. Where are you going? Oop. Take it around. to here. Okay, so I can't go over there. Do this. So these places are like little puzzles in there. because it's going to drop me off here, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to drop me off there, isn't it? Uh... There's something else I can do with this? Uh, I suppose I can, yeah, go up there. Then allow 
allows us to use that to do this, which will take us over there. to here. Let's have a look at what's back here. Another force field. All three. Given that I've got a 26, a 31, um, 45, actually these are all really quite nice in terms of all the other stuff they do, aren't they? Um, I really should just sort that out really, shouldn't I? Uh, that is a 22. I've actually got enough of those. It's quite weird that I'm just going, yeah, I'm going to leave that behind. Um, okay, so I didn't override that. Let's have a look. All right, that should get me through. Uh, probably through there. These open up. Interestingly. No, they didn't open up. Huh. Um, all right, well, maybe I should grab that cannon if it's still around. Before I go through. Just in case. Heavy. It's hard, too. Regretting not taking the heavy cannon lifting skill thing, but uh, I basically have a portable laser cannon now. <laughs> this is very fine. It could be rather useful, although I can't really stealth. Also, I have to be careful where I drop it, um, just in case. Where do I go? Where do I go? Um, hello? There's a thing up there. Am I supposed to jump up on that or something? by being blind. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, I can't take my cannon anyway, then can I? Uh, I gotta go on those uh, conveyor belts. Oop. Unfortunately, uh, now where are we going? Uh, here, probably. 
probably. Okay. Now what? Uh, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Why did you not let me go that way? There we go, that's, that's what I'll do. Hello. No. It won't let me go right for some reason. Um, okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, hello. No, uh, no. Why are you not letting me do that? Technical difficulties. Um, right, hang on. I'm pressing the right buttons. Obviously, it's working sometimes. Uh, hello. Are they? Are there some that are too far apart or something? Yeah, I was trying to do the button thing and it wouldn't work. Which was odd. Doesn't mean it works when I do it on here. Oops, or oh, does it? Hang on. Yeah, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. You can do it. Jump that way. And jump the other way. Okay. So you can do it. Like the buttons do actually work, but uh, I didn't want to work on that one for some reason. So either I'm doing something wrong. space so it seems like I should be able to just hop round but it doesn't seem to want to let me do it uh, come on come on over 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 anyone anyone no no let's me do one then it just doesn't let me want to do another one. So am I supposed to I don't know jump? Apparently <coughs> not. Um that's a bit annoying. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong there or if there's a bug or what. Not, 
trouble. I'm in trouble kind of recognising that I want to do that move. Any other way I can do this? And apparently, I can't jump over. That seems like the way to go, right? I've established that's not going to work. So it's got to be jumping on these things. If I can't go <laughs> it's just not letting me do it. Uh, uh, anyone? No, no. Anyone? No. Come on. No. No. Damn it. Yeah, it's not letting me do it. Screw you. Arr. I'm just gonna have to leave this. any kind of info here. Reach the other side. It's a new opening. Drop down. Ignore the other moving parts. Continue along the path on foot. Like, am I just? So, am I just being dumb here? Like. back along the, the thing here maybe because yeah I mean maybe I'm just not doing that I am that crap I'm in trouble here uh, yeah I'm in the uh, the cauldron row which is uh, the one I skipped last time but I'm having a bit of issues <laughs> oh, damn it why is this Either my controller's flaky, or this is really annoyingly designed. Um, because I cannot seem to get this bloody jump thing going. Right, come on. Uh, right, come on. Just go, go, go. Come on, go. You can do it. Uh, you can do it. There we go. So the little thing I just looked up says, just continue on foot over here. But there's, how do we continue on foot? Is there anything here I can grab onto?
only way I can see that I can go on foot here is just to jump across this gap, which I thought I'd established we couldn't do. Oh, but apparently we can. <laughs> Never mind then. Okay. That was dumb. First time I did that, I could do it. <laughs> All right. Well, we're finally through, so that's good. Uh, let's see what we got in here. A long leg. No, that's not a long leg, that's a watcher. Oh, you're down there. All right. Uh, it seems eminently dealable with. Come on up, say hi. to get those eye shots from the side. Yeah, the self kills are pretty cool. <laughs> ah, great. I do seem to like these uh, stealthy games. Anything back here? No. Uh, right, I think there's a door over here. It's like something I can override. Events, sob watchers. Oh, that's a long leg.
was a bit of a boom. Oh, hello. There's a big boy there. Oh, well, that's a uh, big I think. the pew pew maybe can I get you ah damn it see this is the problem when they land in the water here we go again I can't really get them that's really annoying oh there we go fortunately that was in the shallows <laughs> kill for that. So... Um, yeah, in case you didn't know, by the way, I, I started an hour earlier. Um, so... Uh, I had a day off today, so I got a bit more of a stream today. Um, well, I'm not going to take that in here anymore, am I? Because I'm going to jump on those things. Right, what are we going to do? we got a thing over there. somebody I can use a, a cannon and a helm. Oops, I left it all the way up there, didn't I? Uh, maybe I can shoot you from over here. Oh yeah. Hey buddy. <laughs> nice. No one else? Don't get a piece of me! They're really satisfying to use those things. Uh, all clear? Um, what's down here? 
that's a sparker. And there's another metal bit. And there's another more stuff that I don't really need. So this is a big room. Probably will. <laughs> Up there. Okay. Some of these cauldrons you have to like get stuff out. Uh -huh, here we go. Vents everywhere making me a little nervous. I have to leave something else behind. But there is perhaps something uh, going to be hurtling out from side corridors at us. Uh, all right, well, here's a thing over here, isn't there? Where was the long leg? That's not the long leg. Mm. Alright, let's see what this does. I am not prepared. Um, just in case. Get the blast sling out and probably can add something to that, can't I? More damage? Ooh, uh, that would be nice. Uh, I mean, it does a ridiculous amount of damage already, I guess, but sure. All right, what happened? See anything? Uh, can I do anything? off the edge of a precipice there. Got you up good. Um, right. Where was that exit? I got a feeling the big bad here is going to be a thunder jaw. <laughs> Zipping around, isn't it? Because yeah. uh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> right, uh, how do we get over there then? That's the question. Answers on a postcard, please. Jump down to 
through somehow. I'm supposed to jump onto that thing, but how do I get to it? Okay, you go over here, and you go there, and then you come back. These wheels always go the wrong way. My uh, jumpy button there. Find the cauldron core. Okay, let's get down low enough and drop. Okay, right, made it. That's where I need to go. The belly of this giant beast. Over there. Things are definitely zipping over there. Sure, these maps are entirely useful. <laughs> Over there, I guess. Uh, follow it round. Maybe I can just walk over there. That's where I need to go. down there buddy uh, oh is that a snap more that's a snap more um, that is not really a problem I don't think um, if that's all it is should be able to beat this one quite nicely. Idea is that you're supposed to go in here before you see your first net more, but um, I have seen many. Uh, I get down, get ready to drop two legs anywhere. Am I supposed to get down? Water down there? I don't know. Uh, that was water. Oh well. Uh, now what? Is there another way through? 
move. Uh, apparently there is an underwater mess we can do. Um, does that help me? Is there a reason to go down here? Is that a way through over there? way through over here. Let's go for the obvious passageway, shall we? Yay! Okay, you, sir, are a snap more. I can handle that. So if it's the same as the last time, we need to... of friends coming along from the side, so... The snap more is aware of my presence. unleashed when I do this. Okay. We have what we need. Those. Uh. Nope. Oh wait. setting up your doom. Um, the blast one up there. Just funsies. Um, Alright, well, let's give it a shot. to be blown off. So, blaze canisters at the top, a gullet at the bottom, probably also should get the freeze potions which I've already got there. Here we go. Come on, 
easy. Ah, why didn't that work? Ah. Disappear? Huh. <laughs> okay. I guess, uh, Ravager got the heck out of there. <laughs> Pretty sure I didn't destroy it. Um, that's quite a nice corruption coil, though. Um, have I got one that's just nothing? Um, Coil. Did I take it? I guess I took it. Um, yeah, what happened to that Ravager? He just went. Maybe they did not assume that I would be able to beat it so easily. It wasn't exactly easy, but I mean, you know. Um, oh no. I killed it somehow. <laughs> I only fired like one tear blast thing at it. Unless it just died when the, the snapmore died. Perhaps. Uh, but I'm good with that. Sure. I'll take it. Um, that's good anyway, because it uh, brings us up to two hours, which can be this episode is. Alright, cauldron time. Bip bip boop. Who am I gonna override? There we go. That's it. More machines I can override. Who's it gonna be? Overrides available. Ooh, long leg trampler, ravager, snapmore, and shell walker. That is useful. Uh, date log, blah blah blah. Usual kind of intrusions, blah blah blah. Excellent. Oh, that's shiny. And where do I go now? Not that way, apparently. Uh, other way? There we go. Why would you have a passage just going straight to a dead end? Aha! 
We are back here. More than equipped to take you on. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, now, Cauldron Rilla Row is unlocked for everybody. Hello. Let's go get these uh, dudes down. Looking good. So, I think what I will do now, uh, because I still got like. 15 minutes or so in the two hour bit so I could just do another little side quest or something just for fill up the rest of the two hours of the episode excellent all right that's good then so I can I believe ravagers were on that list right of things I could override um does it tell me? No. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, there you are. Row. Uh, yeah, where does it tell you what your overrides are? Pretty sure the Ravager was in there. That's nice. Ooh, ooh. They really make kind of horrible noises when you kill the little critters. Oh no! I probably just killed uh, the family. Good meat. All right. Okay. Um, so, yeah, side quests. Um, we got a whole bunch of things. So I did finish that um, uh, thing with the uh, sun, whatever they called it, pillar, sun climbing the sun peak thing, whatever it was. Uh, all of this stuff, basically. Sun's climb. That was it. Um, if I go back to Meridian, I could do this one and this one. So why don't we do that and then that can wrap everything up. Uh, for this two hour stint. And then I think next on the list then was heading up to um, Pitchcliff. Although now it's yeah, we've got like three hours left now, basically. So we could do some other things. But yeah, I could probably put some better things on my uh, armor at some point here. Mm. 
So yeah, that was reasonably um, straightforward, apart from that one bit where I got a bit confused and thought I was completely stuck. Um, it just turned out that I just need to try jumping again, that was it. Some peeps. Uh, where are we going? How do we get in? Uh, that's the way out, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Excuse me, Outlander. I'm looking for Banuke artifacts. Well, sorry, I haven't got any for you. Haven't been that way. Able bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. I want to talk to you. Yeah, there you are. Uh, hello. So you've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen. There's a distance between ears and deeds. Because hmm. of what we did? What you did. It was for the mourners. I think it helped them. You set them on the path. You can't know what their journeys hold. Such is the priest's lot. Perhaps a red robe would suit you. <laughs> Not me. Besides, your temple doesn't even take women. We would be richer if we did. Go in light, my friend. And let the sun cast your way. Thank you, Naman. Where I'm going, I could probably use all the light I can get. Yay, right, good. Done all that then. They, they have piles of scrap up north. I tell you, Osram know how to forage in those ruins. Level 30! Hooray. Alright, well, what can we do here then? Um, here's the heavy lifter thing. Um... Ooh. Triple shot. Whoa. Um, that could be fun. Hmm. Uh, what did I get? Oh, the ammo craft, isn't it? Um, scavenger. Oh, I can get one of these ones. Uh,. This one over here. Increased chance to loot fancy things. Uh, which can lead to that. Hmm. Don't think I'm needing that yet. What else can I get at three? Strong strike, concentration, double shot. Let's just do that. Uh, right. Uh, where 
there's you. Oh yeah, let's go pay a visit to the lodge, shall we? That'll be entertaining, I'm sure. Right, you sexist pigs. Hunter's Lodge admits women and savages now. Does tradition mean nothing anymore? You want me to beat you in the face? Speaking of sexist pigs, um, how do I get to you? Bloody maze is what this place is. Ah, I think this is it. It's around here anyway. There we go. Uh, all right, where's Ass Hat? Dump a whole load of things at his feet. Right, asshole. I've got your shit here. I thought I told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker for good measure. I suppose Talana helped you with this. Nope. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine. Yes. I accept them. But tell Talana. She should stop playing with Sludge if she wants to get Red Maw. Well, still an asshole. Um, right. Hunter's Blind. What was that? Talk to Talana. Who is down here? When I gave him my trophies, Assi said you should be spending more time finding Red Maw than helping me. That bunghead isn't wrong. But there isn't time to find Red Maw right now. You're gonna help with something else. Oh? And what might that be? Meet me outside. Ah, why so enigmatic? <laughs> Fine. Okay, could have just told me there, but uh, there you want to help? Here's someone who needs it. Go ahead, El Sadi. I live in Lone Light, northeast of here. I barely escaped because Glint Hawks attack anyone who ventures out. We have so few shards. Will you help? We have nowhere else to turn. Sometimes members receive an honorarium for the hunt. Assis should have accepted this one, but he refused. The price was too low. How generous. <laughs> In the past, I would have gone with Takas to handle this. And what say you and I take it on? I'll meet you at Lone Light. What about Red Maw? Are you in or not? All right. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. Yeah, Red Maw can wait. <laughs> I haven't even tried fighting the Thunder Maw yet, so... Uh, um... Right. Where are you? And conveniently, we have a campfire right there. I might even be able to do this right now. Got two side quests handed in. So, Glint Hawks, is it? I've handled them before. I think there might be a bigger bird as well somewhere. Like a storm beak or something? I thought I heard somebody saying something about a storm beak. Yeah, still got to work on the whole uh, being like thing, haven't we? <laughs> Everyone just hates me because, yeah, you know, I'm a savage and a Nora and a woman, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, people. <laughs> uh, right. About time I you showed seen. up. More Glen Hawks incoming. I literally came here instantly. Um, all right. Well, we'll be fine. Uh, ooh, yeah, it does make more, doesn't it? Um, right. Thing. 
rinse and repeat. Ah. Come here, you. Stab. And you're down. Coming. And hail hmm. you down and smack you a lot. And you're down. <laughs> strafing runs. I am not afraid of you. Although I will be in a minute. There we go. Um, right. And oh, you're staying out of reach in here, little. For the Sun King! Things are really handy. The sun never fails. Sun didn't do this, mate. I did. <laughs> Good. I can use this. It's kind of like saying, Oh, thank God the doctor saved us. It's like, no, the doctor saved us, matey. <laughs> Uh, right. Now what do I do? Um... Didn't even, uh, break much of a sweat with that. Uh, 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 when is, uh, West Wasa face Tallulah? Um, Talana. Over there. Hi. That seems to have taken care of them. But more always come. The soldiers at Morning's Watch don't even bother to fight them anymore. Seems like they're coming from upriver. I could track them back to the source, but if more come here. I'll watch the village. You go ahead. I thought you wanted to do this together. You don't need me to hold your hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why so needy? <laughs> um, right. Victory is ours. Uh, where are we going then? Uh, ooh, up there, eh? Uh, and there's a metal flower nearby. Okay. So, let's do that. That's over there. Easy, easy. Bits of glint walk. Alright, 
let's uh, let's get this one done, and then we can call it in the part one. Also, metal flower. somewhere and you're over there it's nowhere near that on the map that's just an approximation basically hello hey mark two The dust of many crumbled cities settles over us like a forgetful doze. But we are older than those cities. We began as a mineral. We emerged into plant life, then into the animal state, and then into being human. And always we have forgotten our former states, except in early spring when we slightly recall being green again. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a big boy. That is a Thundermore, I think. Thunder more. Um, not what we are looking for right now. Maybe that's red more. Alright, here we go. More going talks. going on here then. How many more glint hawks though? I'm sure I can manage a few. There's one. There's two. Okay, Aloy, now what? So the thing about um, the scavengers I noticed is that they do actually destroy stuff on the bodies. Like if you have a, if this Snapmore had like a, um, you know, a blue thing or whatever on him, uh, they would destroy him if they drill into him a lot, which makes sense. <laughs> So, uh, There's not carcasses everywhere. No wonder the Glint Hawks were drawn here. What's going on here? Also, that's people stuff. What the heck is going on here? I mean, wow. How many... There's like all of them. 
Who did this? What the hey? Who could have done this? How can this be? I mean, that's a heck of a lot. There's like 10, 15 down there. Focus could turn something up. Whoever did this must have left tracks from the blinds. Uh -huh. Amateurs will leave easy tracks to follow. There's another supply crate up there. Don't mind if I do. I mean, it looks like a mining site or something, but... Whoever did this must have been pretty good. Rashad and Omas. These must be the Snap Maw Hunters. Uh, pretty good if you kill all that lot. Hi? I'm here on behalf of the nearby village. Seems your kill zone is creating a Glinthawk problem for them. Yeah, well, they're not the only people with problems. If we don't get enough Snap Maw Hearts to pay off a loan, we lose everything. I don't follow. I borrowed shards to buy seeds. The harvest went bust, and now they're coming for the debt. We could lose the farm, our home. I'm sorry about that, but Glinthawks are attacking people because of what you're doing here. Not my problem. None of us are leaving until I get what I came for. None of us? You didn't think it was just us two, did you? Hmm. You already have one? Now that's impressive. All right, then. There. The heart <laughs> you need. Now what about your promise? A deal's a deal. And now I can pay off my debt. We won't be back. Good. Keep it that way. <laughs> oh, well, that was, uh... Aloy. Resolved? What? <laughs> God, you're like, following me everywhere. Um... Right. Excellent. And, uh, also as extra compensation, I'm going to steal all your stuff. Uh... <laughs> right. So long, then. Congratulations are in order. I wanted to make sure you could handle yourself. You were watching the whole time? Of course. Tarkas, may the sunlight is passing, taught me many things. First of which was, a hawk never abandons their thrush. Wait, are you saying... I'd like to sponsor you for membership. What do you say to hunting machines, winning trophies, and unseating a cease? <laughs> I'm in. I'll meet you back at the lodge as soon as I'm able. Excellent. All right. Well, I believe that one's done. Um, so... Uh... What's that? A lantern. Um, so... With that... We will another signal. Rest on an epic view here. Ooh, hang on, wait. A beep, beep. 
a signal, you'll say. Uh, oh, it's a door back. Uh, okay. That doll neck must be the one sending the signal. Right. On that note. Get a nice little photo. Uh, blah, blah. Uh, let's see what's a good position. I think that's a good view, isn't it? Do I want a pose? I don't know why I would have that pose. <laughs> So yeah, that one's great, but I mean, that one's nice, I suppose. Uh, let's see if we can angle that right at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Um, right. So. With that, uh, I will end part one, um, and we will carry on. So, part one ends now.